Welcome to the webinar, Creating a Breastfeeding Friendly Employer Designation Program, developed by the Workplace and Child Care Team of the Colorado Breastfeeding Coalition. This webinar is for local public health agencies or local breastfeeding coalitions that want to start up a designation program for breastfeeding friendly employers, also referred to as workplaces or businesses. Please note that gender neutral language in terms of employees and parents is used whenever possible in this presentation. As many persons who give birth or breastfeed do not self-identify as female. Additionally, the term breastfeeding will be used, but the terms chest feeding or lactation could be used to be more inclusive. In this webinar, we will discuss and offer suggestions for why we should foster breastfeeding friendly employers, what makes for a breastfeeding friendly employer, how to recruit employers, incentivizing improvement of policies and practices, offering initial training and education, offering ongoing coaching and technical assistance, recognizing breastfeeding friendly employers, and finally follow up and evaluation. Look for these tabs on each section. Breastfeeding has many intangible and economic benefits for employees and their families, the company, the community, and the environment. Many people report that returning to work is a major barrier to reaching breastfeeding goals. Lack of space, time, and support in the workplace can play a detrimental role and cause premature breastfeeding cessation. According to the Institute for Women's Policy Research, Mothers are the fastest growing segment of the U.S. workforce, with 62.7% of Colorado females aged 16 and older currently in the labor force. No organization has the luxury to ignore the interests and needs of employees who are or may soon be starting families. Companies that do support their breastfeeding employees enjoy a number of benefits, including reduced cost of health care, lower rates of absenteeism, improved retention and lower turnover rates, as well as improved employee loyalty, morale, productivity, and job satisfaction. Besides, breastfeeding friendly environments can be used as an appealing recruitment incentive and they create a positive public image of the company. A breastfeeding friendly business designation program focuses on three principles for a breastfeeding friendly employer, policy, time, and space. A written policy, guidelines, or operating procedures will outline the expectations of scheduling breaks and gaining access to a private room to express milk. The employee will know what type of support they can expect once they return from maternity leave. Having written documentation in place labeled as a policy, guidelines, or a statement in the employee handbook ensures that all employees who will need to express milk receive the same support ensures the company follows federal regulations, and provides information an employee will need to know without a potentially embarrassing conversation with their direct supervisor. It also provides a means to discuss expectations of not only the supervisor and employee, but of other employees. Allowing an employee to express milk as needed will help maintain their milk supply while helping prevent painful clots and mastitis. Many use regularly scheduled break times and meal time to pump, and others plan their pumping times in advance. Allowing one to choose a flexible schedule while having a plan in place to cover the employee while on break will support a lactating employee without company burden. This might entail other employees or the manager to cover for break times, especially in retail or hospitality. The basic requirements for a lactation space are a clean private room or area that is not a bathroom. This space should have clear signage for privacy. The ideal space will have comfortable seating, electrical outlets, a side table or desk, a small refrigerator or cooler where, where milk can be stored if the employee prefers not to use a break room refrigerator, a sink with running water, and cleaning supplies such as soap and paper towels, a mirror, and a locking door. This space may be used as a multi-purpose room, such as a quiet room or for other privacy needs. 
Examples of lactation spaces will be shown later in this presentation. There are many ways to find businesses in your community that want or need to improve practices and policies for supporting breastfeeding employees. First, start by tapping into your internal partners, such as other divisions or programs in public health, like environmental health, your local WIC agency, businesses that are already working with your restaurant inspectors or early childhood experts, or even starting at home with your own employer. Second, there are many partners in the community that have a similar mission, such as other members of the Breastfeeding Coalition or the local medical providers. Make sure you engage peer support programs like La Leche League. Additionally, you may look for a specific category of change-ready businesses, like those along Main Street, or those that cater to families as your low-hanging fruit. Other targets may be businesses employing low-wage workers, such as fast food restaurants. Finally, you may want to go door to door in a business district, do presentations, or send targeted mailings to be followed up by a call, email, or knock on the door. Many businesses will become interested in the designation process through a press release or social media. Providing free educational materials to employers can encourage them to improve policies and practices. The Life with Breastfeeding and Supporting Breastfeeding at Work toolkits shown on this slide, which were developed here in Colorado, can be ordered from the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, along with breastfeeding-friendly worksite window clings. Employers appreciate looking at sample policies as they start to draft their own policies. Sample policies can be provided to you to create a resource folder for sharing with your employers. The template to the door hanger on this slide can also be provided to you or feel free to create your own. The link to order these materials is in the resource section of this presentation. Grant funding may be available to set up or improve a lactation space. Funding may be for your organization to purchase and distribute items for lactation spaces, or it may be distributed in the form of mini grants, in which case you should work with your funder to create funding guidelines for applicants. The items shown are examples used to enhance an existing lactation space or furnish a new one. The folding screen is helpful for adding privacy to a room so that it can accommodate multiple pumping employees at the same time. If the worksite is going through a renovation or creating a new building, have them talk with facilities to add a lactation room to the building plans. You may consider having a checklist for any type of mini grant so that there is a written agreement between your organization and the employer. Your organization can encourage employers to improve policies and practices with various incentives, such as promising public recognition for their efforts. Create press releases and social media posts to promote work sites that you designate as breastfeeding friendly. Your organization or the employer may have a communications person or a team that can be of assistance. Another way to encourage employers to support breastfeeding is through education on how these improvements will benefit the bottom line and employee satisfaction. It is helpful to share this information with employers in the preliminary stages of creating a lactation space and policy. This handout from the Michigan Breastfeeding Network can be shared with human resources and administrators involved in the decision-making process. Links to this and other reference documents are included in the resource section of this presentation. Training and education will vary by county, but are likely to include the following. An explanation of the federal and state laws that govern the accommodation of breastfeeding employees, which can include a frequently asked questions section, a walkthrough the business's point person of the actual work site while reviewing the self-assessment, a discussion of various ways to meet the recognition requirements of providing employees time and space to express breast milk in their work environment, as well as having a policy or other written documentation that supports these practices. 
The discussion can highlight standard setups that usually work for a broad range of employers, as well as creative solutions for unique workplace environments. Photo examples of lactation spaces and sample accommodation policies, links to websites with examples of different types of lactation spaces, are included in the resource section. You may also want to create a portfolio of images of lactation spaces from your community to look through when you are doing your site visit. And finally, don't forget a forecasted time frame for developing an action plan and achieving the breastfeeding friendly recognition. Both federal and Colorado law require employers to accommodate breastfeeding employees by allowing them time during the workday to express breast milk, which can be paid or unpaid break time, meal time, or both and a private space to do so. This space cannot be located in a bathroom or toilet stall. The federal law, however, only applies to those employees not exempt from the Fair Labor Standards Act, which excludes most salaried employees from its accommodation requirements. Because the state law is more stringent, it trumps the federal law and applies to all employers and employees, regardless of pay classification. It also covers employees for two years after the birth of their child rather than the one year that the federal law provides. In short, it doesn't matter if you have one or 5,000 employees, the Colorado law applies to all businesses. For employees working in Colorado whose home office is out of state, their employers may reference the federal law, but they are covered under Colorado's protections. It should be noted that the reasonable efforts and undue hardship language only applies to an employer's provision of private location. The requirement to provide time during the workday does not fall under this possible exemption. If an employer violates the law, an employee may seek litigation, but must first enter into a mediation procedure with the employer to attempt to come to a resolution. The image on the right is an example of a worksite self-assessment which provides a baseline of an employer's current breastfeeding accommodation status and ideas for progress in areas of policy, time, and space. You'll see that for all three categories, an employer can fall within the progressing, red, breastfeeding friendly, yellow, or breastfeeding advocate, green, categories. The color coding provides an easy visual for assessing current status and ability to make progress. If possible, it can be helpful to complete this assessment with the employer as it is a useful tool to start a discussion about their current breastfeeding accommodation practices and how they might continue to improve. While it's not necessary to fall within the breastfeeding advocate category for recognition as a breastfeeding friendly employer, the information in this category can give ideas for additional actions or resources to further support their breastfeeding employees. Training and education can be achieved in a variety of manners, via group trainings, individual site visits, or an online self-guided process. Group trainings can be utilized for widespread dissemination of basic materials, which can then be followed up with more individualized support when the employer is ready. In addition, group trainings can be useful to gather various community stakeholders under one roof to identify common obstacles to accommodating breastfeeding employees and brainstorm solutions. For example, providing a training to a group of restaurant managers can allow them to troubleshoot issues that are common in their industry, such as having limited space for a breastfeeding employee to have privacy while expressing breast milk. Site visits are helpful to hone in on individual solutions while a self-guided tool is useful for reaching a larger pool of participants and streamlining the process. Each mode has pros and cons, so you may want to try a combination of all three to see what proves most effective for your community's outreach and recognition process. Coaching and technical assistance are ongoing. Be a resource. Visiting a workplace once a year is a good rule of thumb. This lets the employers know that you are available for questions or support. If nothing else, it's an opportunity to maintain your relationship by touching base, asking if they have any questions, collecting data about usage of the lactation space or any feedback they have received, replacing worn out or missing signage, and updating education materials and resource lists. Typical questions include, 
Can milk be stored in the employee refrigerator? Yes, with a name and date. This storage information can be included in the policy. Many businesses use a mini fridge in the lactation space for convenience. What do I do when the lactation room is being misused or abused? Contact the breastfeeding champion to have a discussion about prioritizing the lactation space and improving signage. More employees need the lactation space. An electronic or paper schedule can be developed to share the space. We have a new boss. Orient new leadership, give them an opportunity to ask questions and determine next steps to progress. In short, it will be good to have the attitude, contact me anytime, I want to be a resource to you. There are many sample policies and policy templates available. These are some examples. A policy from a library that includes how employers support breastfeeding customers. A school district and high school policy. A school district policy that includes communication and problem solving guidelines. A county government policy that details the space that is guaranteed for the breastfeeding employee. Sample policies will be housed on the Colorado Breastfeeding Coalition website. When providing ongoing coaching and technical assistance while the business is in the process of improving policies and practices, remind the business that staffing and space needs will change and communication is critical to success. Their signage should be clear, serve the purpose of providing information and ensuring privacy, and be available in multiple formats in multiple places. Some employers will already have a lactation space but will want to improve or expand it. Help them consider these factors. In addition to helping provide the necessary training to employers, the assessment is used to designate them as breastfeeding friendly. The employer needs to have check marks in the yellow or green columns. If all check marks are in yellow, that is sufficient to be designated as breastfeeding friendly as they have met the minimum criteria. If some answers are in the red, provide technical assistance with policy and lactation space development or improvement. Once they have made these changes or improvements, have them take the assessment again and submit their written documentation, a policy or guidelines, and a photo of their lactation space to obtain designation. Once the assessment is completed with no check marks in red and you have seen the employer's lactation policy, you may create a certificate to be presented at the work site and coordinate a time to visit the lactation space and present the certificate. During your visit, you could give the employer a window cling, toolkits, resources, and your business card along with a certificate to hang in their space. You could list the employer on your website as a breastfeeding friendly work site and provide them with a digital logo that they could use on printed materials and in social media. There are a variety of ways to present the certificate to employers. Take a visit to the work site and get a photo of you presenting it at a staff meeting or in the lactation space. Make a celebration of it and include as many employees in the presentation as you can to help create that culture of support for breastfeeding employees. Presenting the certificate at a coalition meeting or at an event with other employers can help spread the word and get other employers interested. After an employer or business is designated as breastfeeding friendly, remember to stay in touch. A lactation program evolves and is not a box to be checked and then easily completed. Staffing and space needs will change. You can help the business create a way to document the use of the lactation space or otherwise evaluate their lactation program. They may also be interested in other family-friendly policies that support breastfeeding parents, such as paid family leave or an infants at work policy. Many businesses will be interested in quality improvement, which can include better understanding and making improvements on communication, support by coworkers or supervisors, improved scheduling for or documentation on the use of the lactation space, or even surveying employees to determine how the policy or program has contributed to reaching breastfeeding goals. Please use the citations and resources on these last two pages to create and inform your breastfeeding friendly employer designation program. 
Most importantly, thank you for helping make Colorado the best state for breastfeeding families.